In today's video, we're going to be working with standard form. Now, I do just remember that standard form is a way of getting huge numbers like this one, which I'm not even going to attempt to say out loud because I am truly rubbish at saying numbers and converting them to a form which makes them much more user friendly and more easy to write. So, for example, this number in standard form to three significant figures would be 9.40 times 10 to the, and I'm going to count my number of decimal places. So that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So it's times 10 to the 9. Equally, extremely small numbers, such as this one, can also be written in standard form. So to three sig fig, that would be 6.54 times 10 to the, let's move that decimal point place back, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, times 10 to the minus 7, because we now have a very small number. Remember that standard form number needs to be equal or bigger than 1 and less than 10. Hence why 9.40 and 6.54 are absolutely fine. But now I want to get into the nitty gritty and actually show you how to do some maths with the standard form numbers. So we're going to start by adding together 4.2 times 10 to the 4 and 7.3 times 10 to the 5. And there are two methods to do this, so I'm going to show you method 1. Method one is making the powers the same. So at the moment, the powers are different. This one's times 10 to the 4. This one is times 10 to the 5. Now, it doesn't matter which one you choose as long as it's the same for each. So I'm going to keep 1.2 times 10 to the 4 the same. I'm now going to make 7.3 times 10 to the 5 the same, and it's going to be to the power of a 4, which means this now needs to be 73 times 10 to the 4. And because they're the same power, you can now just add the first numbers together. So you do 4.2 plus 73. Make sure those decimal points are lined up. 4 plus 3 is 7. So you have 77.2, which would be 77.2 times 10 to the 4. However, this isn't a number in standard form. So we're going to have to make that so. So we're going to move that decimal point so it becomes 7.72 times 10 to the 5. If you're not that comfortable with standard form and converting backwards and forwards, you might prefer to use method 2, where you write both numbers out as an ordinary number. So first of all, 4.2 times 10 to the 4 is the same as this number here. And just check that it's the same number, so we need to move that decimal point four times. So 1, 2, 3. It hasn't moved far enough. There's the fourth. So 4.2 times 10 to the 4 is actually the same as 42,000. 7.3 times 10 to the 5. Again, make it an ordinary number, so make sure we move that decimal point enough times. So we've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Yep, that's correct. And now it's a straightforward addition sum, so add those two numbers together. Sorry, my iPad has a habit of losing the numbers sometimes, which is so annoying. And then because we need our answer in standard form, let's put that decimal point back in, work out how many times the decimal point moved. It's 5, so our answer is 7.72 times 10 to the 5, which was the same as the answer for method 1, so we know both methods work. Now we're going to look at subtracting numbers in standard form, and it's a very similar method to the addition method, so make sure you're using the same method for both. We have 7 times 10 to the 7 minus 5 times 10 to the 5. So I'm going to do method 1 first of all where I choose the same power. And this time I'm going to make them both to the power of 5. So we keep 5 times 10 to the 5 the same. We now need to make 7 times 10 to the 7 to a power 5. And that means, because obviously to the power 7 is a much larger number than to the power 5, we need to add noughts. So we have our two new numbers, which is 700 times 10 to the 5, 5 times 10 to the 5. And now you just need to take that number away from this number. So it obviously becomes 695 times 10 to the 5. We need to make that a standard form number. So it will become 6.95 
the decimal place is moved twice, which is why we add 2 to our power, and it becomes 6.95 times 10 to the 7. Let's look at method 2 now, where we write both numbers out as ordinary numbers. So 7 times 10 to the 7, we need to add 7 zeros. So that's actually 70 million. And then 5 times 10 to the 5, we add 5 zeros. That's actually 500,000. And now we need to do 70 million. Take away 500,000. Make sure you line those noughts up nicely and make sure you count them properly. 0 take 0 is 0. We can carry that along. 0 take 5 we can't do. 0 we can't do. So we have to take it to 6 here. That becomes 9. This becomes 1. 10 take 5 is 5. 9 take 0 is 9. 6 take 0 is 6. And then we need to reinsert that decimal place and count how many times we've moved that decimal place. So that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So it becomes 6.95 times 10 to the 7, which is the same answer as method 1.